Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys don't know, we're hanging today. What a great start. My first bail, let's just say I got distracted by a butterfly and I forgot to pull the right lever. So, I didn't wrap it with the net wrap. Today I'm going to be showing you how to re-wrap a bail, I guess. Pretty easy. It take, it's going to take a little bit. It's a 4x4 four four round. Yeah, he wants me to go help him. So first you gotta unroll it. Yeah, thanks. Very <laughs> easy. It's like a big cinnamon roll. That I haven't eaten since I was born. So it's pretty easy for me because I can just like film them and he's just doing all the work. But yeah, we'll start over there with the baler and I'll show you what to do. But first, yeah, you want to unroll it first. This is way too high. That has to be like fucked down the rope. That's the okay height down there. That's a little high. So you don't want it to be too high because then it'll clog up your bailer. Before I bail it, I'll say I have like a half a bail in there, so I'm going to dump it early. I'll engage the round bail. Again, it's not that hard. You just gotta go really, really slow. Cause if you go too fast, then the bailer, the, the header is gonna get all clogged up. Nice bail. It's second cut round for silage. We feed our cattle. So um, it's always good to save a bail. Don't just like dump on and be like, oh my god, I've got the wrap on. Let's just throw it out. Let's throw in the wood. It's like half a day's worth the food for the cattle so that's I mean that's still valuable make sure you have enough room for your net wrap you only need like a foot for this much hay um, to engage it so it'll like start wrapping it and then yeah just go slow you don't have to go crazy on your rpms if you start seeing the header get really full just put your clutch in and wait and then once it's all unclogged out of the header then release your clutch, start doing it again. Yeah, if you guys want to see any other videos, then comment down below what you want to see. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.